Hello and welcome to Flash Animation um, Chapter 8, Lesson 2. Now, uh, I like to go on record by saying leaves do not move like this, nor do trees traditionally move like this, but it's going to be what it is. What's going on here is you, you have this little leaf animation where all the leaves are, you know, I want to say dancing because, yeah. At any rate, what's going to happen is, is we're going to create an animation base, kind of a movie based off of that, and get rid of all the extra stuff, so it's just one particular animation. And once we create that animation in that movie clip, then we can turn around and resize it. And this is creating an animated graphic symbol. So we're going to create an animated graphic symbol. So the very first thing I want to do is I turn to Flash 8-12, and it has a lot of better information of what's going on there. What's going on is I'm going to hit on Trunk, I'm going to push Shift, and then I'm going to navigate all the way up to Leaf 11. After that time, I'm going to do an edit. I want to do a timeline, and I'm going to do cut frames. Because what I've done is I've cut all these frames that represent the tree and all the movements and things along those lines. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert timeline, and I want to do, oh, sorry, insert new symbol. And my new symbol is going to be called animated tree. And it's going to be a graphic. And I'm going to push OK. And that takes us to our animated tree portion. Now, what I want to do is I want to click on Frame 1, Layer 1. I want to click Edit, and I want to do Timeline and Paste Frames. So what I'm doing is I cut those frames out of the last section, and I'm going to actually paste it in this section. And what that's going to create is that's going to create an actual image of this tree. At this point in time, I'm going to go back to my Scene 1, because I'm messing with the animated tree right now. I'm going to go back to my Scene 1, and then I'm going to select all the layers except the background layer. So I'm clicking Leaf 11 all the way down to Trunk, or the locked background layer. Now, you can't see it, but there's a little um, garbage can in the lower left-hand corner icon of the timeline. And that indicates that I can simply delete everything I have selected. So I'm going to delete all that stuff. And now I'm down to the actual background. Um, nothing's going on. I'm going to re reset my essentials. So reset essentials. So everything sets back to normal. And then what's going to happen as it appears in Flash 8-14, I'm going to insert a new layer. So insert, uh, timeline, new layer, and I'm going to call this trees. T-R-E-E-S, trees. Then what I'm going to do after I call it trees is I'm going to click frame one on the trees layer and then drag the animated tree graphics. So I click here, and then I go to my library, and that's the animated tree I just created. Now, as I drag this across, it's going to bring in all the animated tree, right? And it has all the layers on it and everything coordinated in there. But the benefit of doing it this particular way is now I can bring in a second tree, hit my free transform tool, and do stuff with it awesome stuff, right? So I come along here, here it is, and I make a smaller tree, right? And then I grab said smaller tree, and I move it over here. And the neat thing about it is I've inserted these two trees, and now I've created, then it's duplicated that particular graphic animation for each one of them. Now granted, in our particular world, all tree leaves don't move together. So if I was going to expand this in such a way that if I had, if you go back to your car one, if I wanted a consistent graphic where there was a car and the car would move a certain way, and then I could actually insert, if I turned that into an animated graphic, I could then insert multiple cars, and I could do something, let's say, like a freeway. So if I wanted to combine the car one with the one where I was creating a city, then I could make the all the cities, I could make all the cars drive around in the city, and they would have kind of the same movement, but I can do multiple lanes on a freeway or things like that, so you can kind of extend beyond it. Um, you know, kind of thinking along those lines, if you remember the one where I had the little dancing guy, the kicker, if you took an image of someone and then you broke it up the same way that you had the kicker, then you could ideally, you know, give that kicker a bone structure and then move it. So you always want to think and reference these lessons. How can I apply this greater than, oh, Mr. Sebastian is asking me to do all these things, and I'm just going to do it because I want to get this stuff done. Kind of think beyond that and think how it applies. All right, well, um, lesson two 
from chapter 8, I would not define as difficult. Um, hopefully, you'll be able to get through it and kind of see the overall application uh, beyond our immediate needs of let's get these assignment done and done and we need a grade. All right. Thank you very much for your time. I will see you in Chapter 8, Lesson 3 for more Flash excitement. Have a good day. Goodbye.